came in. What keep me mindful of eternity is what Peter wrote in 1 Peter 1, 24 and 25. He wrote this, For all men are like grass, and all their glory like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord stands forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. Peter said people are all like grass. What a humbling truth to ponder. No one should ever get puffed up in pride if he ponders facts like this. To say that grass withers is another way of saying that it dies. Man is like that. We are here just for a very short time and then we'll die just like insignificant grass. After referring to the brevity of man's life, Peter went on and mentioned the glory of man. He compared man's glory to the flowers of the field. If you've ever really noticed the beauty of a rose, a lily, or a tulip, that is what Peter likened all man's glory to. Those brightly colored flower petals are all very temporary and nothing more. Isn't it just like that with a famous person? It isn't very long after his death that he is forgotten even by his closest family members. His fame fades away, just like the flowers of the field. The points were made very well, and that is about man and his glory being short-lived. The exact opposite of the Word of God. The word of the Lord stands forever. Jesus said this in Matthew 24, 35. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. It's too bad that a chapter division starts after 1 Peter 1, 25, because it tends to disjoint these concepts from the very next verse, which it is linked to. That verse says this. Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Based upon the brevity of man's life and the word of God being forever settled, Christians are to rid themselves of all malice, deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. That was Peter's message back then under grace. Sin is still the issue for Christians, and we have our part to do with the help of God and keeping such wickedness out of our own hearts. Listen again to what Peter wrote. For all men are like grass, and all their glory like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord stands forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. Therefore rid yourselves of all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. What important truth for our day, just like it was in first century Christianity. While it is equally important back then as it is today to hear these truths, this same message to the saints can often be misunderstood and falsely labeled legalism and cultic in our hour instead of true grace teaching. Hence, don't be deceived. God bless you. Many people think of God like they do Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. That is, he really doesn't exist at all. Friend, that could not be further from the truth. God is real. The Bible is true. Jesus is alive. You do have an eternal soul. There is a judgment day, and you will spend eternity either in heaven or in hell if you follow the majority. In the end, you also will be thrown into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Now is the time to turn from your sins. Place 100% of your faith and trust in Jesus alone and serve him faithfully till death for your soul's salvation. You must get biblically saved and stay saved to enter God's paradise kingdom after your physical death. Please read the New Testament for yourself and change accordingly. Your eternal destiny depends upon what you do with that message. God bless you.